Hello everyone, this is T-Bird Bricks for another video. With much anticipation, LEGO has finally revealed the latest Star Wars UCS, this being Jabba's Sail Barge. This massive set will come out on October 3rd at 3,942 pieces for $500. My initial reaction for this set is wow. This barge is huge and I love the fact that not only can the top be taken off, but there's also side panels that can fold down so you can really play out scenes from Return of the Jedi in the set. This barge has a good combo of playability and displayability, as LEGO's promo pictures show great options for where you could display this build, since the set comes with built-in stands. The figures also look great as you get Bib Fortuna, Salacious Crumb, a Gamorrean Guard, some Pirates, and two of the best figures seem to be the new Slave Leia and Max Rebo. And I can also appreciate the new Jabba the Hutt as well as the anniversary stand that he can sit on. Getting into some criticisms, this price is simply too high for what we're getting. This set is close to 13 cents per piece, and we only get 10 figures in Java. I honestly don't understand LEGO scaling when it comes to figures in a set over $100. People will say the licensing is what's jacking up the prices, but I disagree. Marvel, DC, and Harry Potter seem to be fair with their minifig count, but whenever it comes to Star Wars, they're also so stingy with the figure count and the selection. Also, without Luke, Han, Chewie, Lando, and Boba, this whole scene the set is trying to create is just a letdown. Also, the gift with purchase for this set is just pathetic. I'm pretty sure we've gotten Luke's lightsaber before, albeit a different one. The last one was his hilt from Empire Strikes Back, while this one is from Return of the Jedi, but still, at the end of the day, who's really collecting different variations in LEGO lightsabers? Here's what I think LEGO should have done. Keep the price at $500, but add in the skiff and include Luke, Han, Chewie, Lando in disguise, and Boba Fett. Then have the gift with purchase be the Sarlacc Pit. Now I know people are going to say they already just released a Sarlacc with Skiff set, but what I'm proposing is cancel that set, meaning they shouldn't have made that set to begin with because that set sucks and it's also overpriced, and LEGO can just lump in that Skiff design and those figures with this barge and these figures, and have a Sarlacc pit gift with purchase. I think that's a much better set idea and gift with purchase, but at the end of the day, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section, and be sure to like the video, subscribe, and have a wonderful day.